right, right, right. So, right, Father, right. we're grateful today yes, God. for the power of your name, yes, the Father. power that's in your name, mm -hmm. the power that's in prayer, mm -hmm. the, the greater power that when we close the door and the greater things that come, Lord God, out of that room. Father, we yeah, thank Lord. you, Lord God, that we'll go forward in today in strength and mm -hmm. in articulation and we'll follow the lead of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. that whoever hears this podcast will be blessed because yes, of Father. it. Not because of me. Mm, and I thank yes, you for God. my friend, Apostle Jeff Wilson, mm -hmm. Lord God, the leader, the initiator mm -hmm. of Antioch Glory Center, mm -hmm. his wonderful wife, uh, Pastor Kim mm -hmm. Wilson. We uh, bless them mm -hmm. uh, in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. I pray. Amen. Amen. In um, Proverbs chapter 8, in verse 17, it said, I love those who love me, and those who seek me, find me. Also in Jeremiah 20, he said those that are seeking. Mm -hmm. That's a violent term, mm -hmm. especially in this hour, mm -hmm. because of the lusciousness that God has blessed us that has created options that are a curse. Right. So we right. can watch reruns of movies and reruns of sports center and go out to eat and have a good time and we're not immoral but their blood is on our hand because mm -hmm. that is what the word said mm -hmm. want to read to us jeremiah 29 13 and you will seek me and find me yeah when you search for me with all of mm -hmm. your heart mm -hmm. I'll, I'll read a few notes here apostle and then we'll hear from you passion produces intimacy that is developed by pursuit. Instant gratification. We have a Heroes Camp t-shirt that says that instant gratification is my enemy. Uh, my wife would be in a crowd and she would call me. And even though I couldn't see her, I could still hear, hear her voice. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that my sheep hear my voice and will not follow another in John chapter 10 and 1 through 6. So now what I want to talk about is if we're ever going to get to the power of the ages to come, which boy with coronavirus and all the other lying that they're putting out and things that are intimidation and fear, I feel personally that maybe uh, we need to take down some of the idols in America, maybe the American flag, maybe the, uh, 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 what you want to call it, Statue of Liberty, mm -hmm, where mm -hmm. there are places where people bow down and genuflect but can't go to the house of prayer. Mm -hmm, Something, mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm only talking to Christian people. Right, on right, that right, 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 right. I'm not right. talking to the world at large. I'm mm -hmm. speaking to Christian people on that particular subject. And so we max out in lifting weights, in training, in jumping drills, because they're looking for results. Are we looking for results? Right. Are we looking to have the strength the wisdom, the understanding, the power of the power of the ages to come. We need that like yesterday. We yeah. need that like last week yeah. with what's going on because they're giving definition to our world, shutting our world down, and it is a, 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 a it is a. a an insult mm -hmm. to the integrity and the honor and the wisdom of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and of our God. Mm -hmm. um, Media, uh, uh, Prophet Gary said on our staff last week that mediocre is a compromise of ability versus potential. Mm. We got ability, we're gifted, but we don't max it out because mm. we don't take it and put it there. You always see in fourth, fifth, sixth grade, some young kid that if he'll die to it, he'll really be great. But usually what happens is he gets cute and then, you know, he plays AAU and then, you know, man, by eighth grade, man, he's interested in girls and he's through. You know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where's the body of Christ at in this hour is what I'm asking. Uh, I would also like to reference drug overdose, mm -hmm. uh, uh, drug addicts. They're not looking to overdose. But they overdose looking to break the barrier. Yeah, yeah. They're looking for a new experience. They're looking for a new high. Mm -hmm. And those are the things that I see that love, that approach. Now, theirs is off as the day is long. But where is that at in the body of Christ? Because the Bible said that this generation in the world is mm -hmm. wiser than the children of light. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Apostle. Yeah. Uh, one of the things as you was talking uh, about where is this 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 power at, and you reference the uh, elementary age young man playing basketball, and what happens to him in that process. You know, one of the things that happens is that somewhere along the way, somebody gave him uh, just a little bit too much uh, sugar in the complementing of That's the good. the minuscule. 
advancement he has experienced. Amen. You know, uh, one thing about God, the scripture says that uh, in uh, uh, Romans eight twenty eight, I believe it is, that all things Amen. work together Amen. for the good of them that love God and who are the called according to his purpose. So God knows uh, how to allow, permit, uh, stand back, watch, uh, adhere to the perfect mix for the body of Christ and for our li for our lives, which will enable us to have the perfect uh, desire and press to get to what is next in our lives uh, from him. It can't be all sweet and sugar all the time because that'll give us too many cavities. So it it be, can't you're saying be, it'd be one thing that's going to develop us and it's going to be a crisis but the end game is if you go through and you walk with the Holy Ghost. Absolutely. And so so uh, the scripture says, uh, thinking not strange Amen. concerning these fiery Amen. trials that yeah. come to try. And then he begins to talk about th what these things are going to produce from our faith. If we add the right, if we put the right additives and supplements to what it is that we're going through. Uh, so we can't have a, uh, too much of um, sugar-coated uh, compliments talking about this elementary young school uh, guy again uh, because it'll it'll stop us from pressing you said well you know what somebody he didn't got him a new pair of shoes or uh, some girl done said something and then or all some of a sudden got a new home or so, a new car a new truck or right you know and, a, and anything that can get you to calm down so which become idols in our lives Amen. as you begin to push off today so God is a he's a blessing God but God is not blessing us to have a him be replaced in our lives concerning uh, idolatry and good things. Amen. The world can, the devil is good to his kids too. They, they just don't see that ultimately uh, the things that he's going to give them is meant to absolutely kill them. You know what I'm saying Amen. to you? So uh, as we look at the hour that we're in and the compromise and the, uh, the caution of uh, uh, overload, of blessing uh, and us not being able to always see and press into God, uh, we got to recognize that, man, everything that is going on is a perfect mix. Even though God didn't author a lot of things, those things still become perfect mix from God to be able to push the people of God to the place that they're supposed to be when we begin to embrace God in crisis. That is um, so much Jehovah's mode of operation that he order, ordained some things as crisis, mm -hmm. but he created the devil mm -hmm. to destroy with no weapons. So he let that get through because mm -hmm. he knew the end. And some things he let people go through because mm -hmm. he know that's going to be good for my son. Mm -hmm. That's going to that's gonna build his attention span. Mm -hmm. That's going to build his muscles in prayer. Mm -hmm. And the thing that I want to say is that we have not been this way before. Right. I'm 66, right. you're 57. We have not seen right. the fear loosed and, and the corruption behind the fear. Mm -hmm. Who is the voice, John said in the book of Revelation, mm -hmm. uh, John, exiled in the Isle of Patmos for the preaching of the gospel, mm -hmm. and I heard a voice behind. Mm -hmm. What is the voice behind or what's going on today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fear, intimidation, control. I resent that. Mm -hmm. I resent mm -hmm. that because that is not God's M.O. Right, right. That is not God's M.O. Right, right, now, right, right. I also want to suggest that we can put a man on the moon, and from outer space we can find where someone live at. Right, right. Down to the, the hole. And you tell them you ain't got no care for this? Right. You're a big lie. Right, I hate right, a lying right, spirit. Right, right, I'm right, talking right. about discernment now. Right, right. I'm talking about the gifts of the spirit. Right, this right. is not aimed at our government. Mm -hmm. This is not aimed at our president. Mm -hmm. This is aimed at the devil. Quit mm -hmm. lying to mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. Quit lying mm -hmm. to us. Mm -hmm. I want to read in about that we have not been this way before. Mm -hmm. If we've not been this way before, what we need is a tutor. Yeah. And what we need, the tutor does is he practices tutelage. Mm -hmm. Tutelage is the act of guarding or protecting because they know that you ain't been in some particular way before so you don't get to see. Mm -hmm. The church is not going to the prayer room mm -hmm. so whatever it says on CNN is what God is saying. You big yeah. fat yeah. lie. Right, right, you right, big right, fat right, lie. Right, right, you right, big right. fat lie. I ain't right. believing none of that stuff. Right, right. Uh, it's, it's a protecting or a, a, a guiding Office of function, 
of a, of a guardian, it's instruction, it's teaching, it's guidance, it's a tutor. It's uh, a, an apprentice. Mm -hmm. The tutor moves into apprentices to make them journeymen, mm -hmm. to make us to be the sons of God. Mm -hmm. Theoretically, we are called the sons of God. Mm -hmm. But God lets these trials and tribulations come to push us higher. This is the church's finest moment. Yeah. For those, the remnant are being charged. Yeah. The remnant is being challenged. Yeah. The remnant is responding. Yeah. Yeah. The remnant is responding. Yeah. 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 The yeah. church does whatever. The church yeah. is DOA right yeah. now. Yeah. 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 The yeah. church had a car accident. Mm -hmm. They ran into a collision of, 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 of truth versus compromise. Mm -hmm. And they didn't want to fight, and so it ended up in a bad situation. I know this sounds like I'm, 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 I'm anti I'm down with the church. Mm -hmm. I love the church. Mm -hmm. But the church has got to, the church has prophets. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and the yeah. church has apostles to build and prophets to challenge, to awaken, to correct, to instruct, correct, and, and to reproof and to rebuke. Listen, I'm teaching our kids at Heroes Camp, the word of God is given for instruction, correction, so it gets worse when you don't when you don't want instruction. It gets worse. Yeah. Now you gotta be corrected. Yeah. You don't want correction. Now it's reproof. Yeah. You don't want reproof. It's gonna get worse. Yeah. You get an open rebuke. Yeah. 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 It's going from bad to worse on yeah. our watch. Yeah. And it wasn't like that when I got saved 38 years ago. And we need to have people in the body of Christ who understands what the church ought to be, what the visual that Christ had concerning the church as we look at the kingdom as we look at the church there is always so you you had a vision for your child amen you, you know what i'm saying to I you, still do. you said, my, right and right my and your grand so there we go so it didn't just it, it got extended uh the reign the rule the capacity of your vision for your child which now includes uh your son in love and your grandbaby so so as it relates to the church, God still has great vision and capacity for the church. But when, when as a coach, if I'm stepping off the wrong foot, if I'm traveling all the time, if I'm throwing bad passes, if I'm taking bad shots, as a coach, you got the responsibility because you know how basketball is supposed to be rightfully and righteously played and executed on the court. You got a responsibility to say, no, you doing that wrong. You on the court, but you doing that wrong. No, I can't get mad and go home as some may do, Amen. and go home be like, well, man, you know what? Uh, uh, Pat talking about me. No, Pat ain't talking about you. Pat is talking about the way that you play in the game, and you're not playing and presenting the game up to the standard that it's supposed to be. Amen. So as it relates to the church and the kingdom, God know what it's supposed to look like, and apostles and prophets uh, who are the pillars and the cornerstones along with the Lord Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone, know what the church ought to be looking like, and woe be unto us Amen. if in this time of crisis, we sit back and we go on mute and not say what we're supposed to be and not continue to cast and develop the rightful vision for the kingdom of God and the body of Christ and for those who are looking to, to have something like that operative in their life. The spirit of entitlement that's in America because of the opulence has tracked its way into the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so if you get there late, and the pastor raised his eye at you, mm -hmm. then he didn't show you funny. Right. You're behind, listen, right. your salvation is on the line. Right, right. And that kind of culture trying to come into the church, the devil don't want to control the church. He wants to lead the church. Mm -hmm. And so when we when we can't challenge that and say, no, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. That's out of order. Mm -hmm. That's practicing kingdom patriotism, what I just said. Mm -hmm. Where's the fasting? Mm -hmm. Where's the prayer? Mm -hmm. Where's the lamentation that's going on that should be going on? Mm -hmm. Um. Also, what was go back to tutelage? Mm -hmm. uh, some uh, uh, synonyms are apprentice, instruction, preparation, preparation. protection, schooling, and supervision. Preparation. So, at ten years old, Jesus is teaching in the temple, mm -hmm. and Mary and Joseph, his parents, leave, and they leave him behind. And for three days, they're trying to find him. Then they recovered their steps, 
and he reminded and they they like kind of wanted to be, bring a rebuke like mm -hmm. man son where you been man mm -hmm. yeah this worry man and uh don't you know mm -hmm. that i was born from above don't mm -hmm. you forget how i was born mm -hmm. you know he had, he had to remind i don't say correct as right but right. remind him mm -hmm. i'm here about my father's business mm -hmm. as a christian the day that you get saved you die mm -hmm. you know you 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 got to be about your father's business mm -hmm. and so when i got born again and and the way that i was all in as an athlete, all in as a drug addict, all in by whatever I was fitting to do. Uh -huh. And let me say one thing about that. You ain't finna do a lot when you're all in because it takes all in energy to right, do Right, 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 absolutely. Yeah, you absolutely. know, Christians absolutely. are trying to do too much, be on this board, be yeah. over here, be over there, and yeah. do this, man. Why yeah. don't you carry it behind the prayer, yeah. you know what I'm saying, yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and see what will come out of that. Mm -hmm. So now we're talking about we ain't been this way before mm -hmm. over in Joshua chapter 3. Mm-hmm crossing the Jordan early in the morning and all the Israelites set out from Shittim and went to the Jordan where they camped before the crossing over after three days the officers went throughout the camp giving orders to the people well you know if you ain't gonna hear apostle how you gonna hear his elders right right you know Amen. we got selective hearing no mm -hmm. it's amnesia you forgot that someone mm -hmm. died for you mm -hmm. it ain't nobody it ain't nobody if you don't want to be under that leadership mm -hmm. then find a church that you want to mm -hmm. be under but you got to be under be somebody, somebody. Yeah. And, and and not someone be over you you yeah. be under somebody yeah. 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 you're always talking about who, who's over you but you're still not under mm -hmm. them there's something wrong with that mm -hmm. i watch that is why i watch it in the mm -hmm. home with people that don't even know the lord that the parents man they don't have no rule over their children right 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 you want to swallow up on them when right. you're out I wouldn't have, mm. Right, right, yeah, right, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. After three days, the officer went throughout the camp giving orders to the people. When you see the Ark of the Covenant, or in other words, the presence of the Lord, yes, sir. of the Lord your God, and the priest, we're a royal priesthood, and this is a new, this is an Old Testament rendering mm -hmm. of a New Testament proposition mm -hmm. that I'm releasing, who are the Levites carrying it, you're to move out from your positions and follow it. That's instruction. Mm -hmm. they did not, not, to, not today, mm -hmm. not tomorrow, mm -hmm. not later on, mm -hmm. not, and not after you get off work. Right, now. Right, right, now. Right, right, options right. are a curse for right. those that are not disciplined. Right. Options are a curse right. where Jesus is not Lord and you still going to church. Mm -hmm. It'd be better you quit going and go mm -hmm. somewhere and sit down and have a talk mm -hmm. with God. Mm -hmm. Then you will know which way to go since you've never been this way before. Mm -hmm. But keep a distance of about a thousand yards between you and the ark. That ark is holy. Mm -hmm. The animals tried to carry the ark and they couldn't carry it because they weren't created to carry it. Right. And so the oxen, you know, and Uzzah stretched out his hand and died, but the priest was supposed to carry it. Right. And because it's so heavy, they're supposed to carry that thing and set it down. Not heavy, just physically heavy, mm -hmm. but the weight that the ark represents, mm -hmm. the weight of his glory. Mm -hmm. See, people don't even know what I'm talking about. In an hour of coronavirus and this tactic of fear uh -huh. that's going on, this conversation, these kind of things, this is where we ought to start our right, conversation. Right, 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 right. About the glory of God, the yeah. presence of God, yeah. the power of God. Yeah, yeah. We ought to be angry yeah. about what's going on. Yeah. Because God's, they're treating God like he's some kind of yeah, punk. Yeah, right, right, right. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. So, 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 the biblical trumpet is not something that plays a song. Mm -hmm. It is a weapon of, it's a, it's a musical weapon of acknowledging and activating certain times. Mm -hmm. You're a trumpet. I'm a trumpet. Mm -hmm. You know, prophets are trumpets. Mm -hmm. Apostles can be trumpets. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 and we're saying there's something wrong that's going on that we need to put our foot down. We need to cry aloud, mm -hmm. spare not, lift our voice up as a trumpet, mm -hmm. I just says in, in, in Isaiah 55. So what I want to say is, God, have mercy on us. God, we promoted homosexual marriage, which is against you. God, we present, uh, uh, we, we promoted uh, 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 free sex, a fornication, adultery. We smile at it. As long as they come to our church. Right. As long, no, God, it's right. wrong. Right. And so, Father, like Nehemiah, mm -hmm. like Nehemiah mm -hmm. that asked for the nation, I want to stand in the gap today, God, and I want to apologize for our lawmakers. They're not lawmakers. They have made it. They have shook their fist at you, God. Mm -hmm. They have shook their fist at you through Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. They have shook their fist at you through Harvard. Uh -huh. They shook their fist at you through Yale. They shook their fist at you through Cornell, God, mm -hmm. where they used to be the power of God, the fear of God, the mm -hmm. reverence of God. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Now today, God, somehow we didn't got heady and high-minded through education mm -hmm. and politicians and, and religion, God. And though somehow we don't need you. Father, I say, come by here. Yes, Lord. Come by heroes camp. Come by yes, my Lord. life. Yes, I don't Lord. care who like what I, what yes, I ain't Lord. saying, God. Yes, I'm Lord. speaking the truth in love, God, so we can get back center set in the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You talked about um, us having not gone this way before. Now, that can be intimidating uh, because you don't know, but can also be a huge opportunity because now we have to depend upon the God who knows everything. One of the things that we're looking at uh, in our nation, and, and you just listed just a light itinerary of things that have happened, uh, we are where we are now. It's a compilation Amen. of things. Amen. It's from a compound the, fracture. Right, right, right. So, Not just a fracture, it's broken uh, skin. Absolutely. So from the founding of our nation, and the things that we've done and have not repented of as a whole and have not sought the counsel of God as a whole and haven't changed our mind about and things that we've closed one eye to and we've been uh, uh, blind by choice to a whole lot of things, the opportunity now is for us to make that course correction. And only if we were born to be in the time that we are in right now would one be able to rule and make proper judgments based upon the mind of God and the heart of God because of the time that we're living in now. Those that came before us, some of our spiritual mentors and fathers and heroes, uh, they're gone on to be with the Lord in their heavenly reward. But we're left And they left them, us in good shape. And they left us in great shape. Uh, but still, there were things that even in their generations, things did not get to be addressed. Things got swept up under. But we have the responsibility and the opportunity to try to address everything that we possibly can, knowing that we're on a time limit, we're on a marker, Amen. and I don't Amen. have a whole Amen. lot of time to course correct. I, I've got to say something and do something about it now. So that means that's a different type of personality Amen. Uh, that Amen. has to be alive Amen. It in changes the day. you when you walk with God. It does. And let me go back to the first thing you said, it's an eerie time. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. So first of all, let me say, am I ready to die? Right. Second of all, am I am I ready to yield my life for what it takes? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I want to see my grandchildren. I mm -hmm. want to marry them. Uh -huh. I want to be at their wedding. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to. I want to buy their. I want to buy the oldest one their house. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want to do what like like the kingdom people, like the kingdom covenant people right. do. Right. 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 According right. to Deuteronomy son of twenty or six, I want. But the question is. Can we talk about the massacre of the Indians? Mm -hmm, Can mm -hmm. we talk about the lynching of black folks mm -hmm, down south? Mm -hmm. Can we talk about the lynching of white of black folks up north after the migration? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My wife went to an all-black high school until she was 11th grader, and then segregation was broken by desegregation mm -hmm. just to go to an all-white, uh, all-integrated uh, 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 high school mm -hmm. that was, still wasn't integrated because they were not welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whereas, I mean, here we're still talking about integration, and that is a long way since that was supposed to be taken care of, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And then, what about uh, the homosexuality? Mm -hmm. What about, uh, uh, and God loves sinners mm -hmm. but doesn't love the sin so mm -hmm. i'm not aiming at people mm -hmm. but as much as i'm aiming right at that i want to hit him in the bullseye mm -hmm. with a spirit mm -hmm. uh, uh, that creates that fornication adultery mm -hmm. political corruption educational academic corruption and 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 the way that we're doing the dollar and um all of that and then we come up with coronavirus mm -hmm. and we're getting off easy right you better right. hear what i'm saying right right right, we, right you know and so i made a note and uh, that many people see the warning, but they don't want change. Mm. And I told the kids at Heroes Cap, if you can heed something, you're saving your behind some, you're saving yourself some trouble. Mm -hmm. And so are our heroes really the new villains morally? Mm. I wish the answer to that question wasn't yes. Mm -hmm. But if you look at what they think about mm -hmm. and who their heroes are, mm -hmm. you know, and where are the heroes of the faith? Mm -hmm. We know they're rewarded mm -hmm. afterwards, and we're and we're and we're all right now. Mm -hmm. I will also like to uh, uh, look up at uh, Hebrews in chapter ten. 
And then we're talking about a particular time frame that uh, the writer of Hebrews said, and I, and I think that we've been arriving in this place called that day. And in verse number 25, um, let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another all the more mm -hmm. as you see that day. That's what a capital D mm -hmm. approaching. This is a different kind of day. Mm -hmm. This they they low bridged us. So we went up for a dump and they undercut us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I say they, I don't mean anybody in particular except the evil one, mm -hmm. the principality and the powers of the air, mm -hmm. the devil, Lucifer, the one that got thrown out of heaven and swayed a third of the angels to participate in the rebellion mm -hmm. in heaven. Now, that's a lot of power right mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. that tricked Adam in the garden. The first thing that Adam, when he was created and God blew the spirit of breath into Adam and Adam became animated, the first person that he encountered was name is Jehovah Shama, mm -hmm. the Lord is there. Mm -hmm. I'm saying the Lord is in this room with us mm -hmm. this afternoon. Mm -hmm. He was in prayer this morning. Mm -hmm. He's always there. The density of his presence determines on sometimes the length of time mm -hmm. that we're willing to be there mm -hmm. as his bride to activate those love endorphins. The Lord spoke to me Saturday morning and told me that Heroes Camp is the endorphin for mm -hmm. orphans. Mm. It's the endorphin, the sense of wellness, the sense of warfare. And when you're done, there's an achievement, you know, in this place mm -hmm. to champion young kids mm -hmm. whose parents are struggling economically or father's not there. I'm not being a hater when I'm saying this. Right, I'm right, saying right, this right, right, as right, diligently right. and gently right. as I can. Life takes side journeys. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, we need to have people to rise up and to assist their development, to loose their understanding, and to bring them out of captivity. And, and, and Lord, help us. That's we release these and 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 Heroes Camp Indiana. Lord, let me see the yes, first God. building of it, Lord. Yes, but God. let my grandson run it, Lord yeah, God. Yeah, let yeah. my son-in-law, my daughter, yeah, God. Yeah, yeah if, if I could just see it from a distance, mm -hmm. but I could see it, God. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't, sh if you showed it to me, you meant to do it, Lord. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. there was someone to walk with you, mm -hmm. God, and be a co-laborer mm -hmm. with you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These things are so important of getting over to our, uh, 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 to our children. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yes. The unfolding of mysteries, Apostle. A mystery is anything, and that's what we're going through right now. What is this? Mm -hmm. Huh? You, you, can't, you can't go where? And you say, martial law, and you want to, you know, kind of allude right. to that? And right, right, you say, right. You know, you know and, 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 but David Wilkerson 50 years ago said, there ain't, no, ain't nothing going to be better for you by hoarding everything up. Mm -hmm. I think we're just going through the new Y2K. Mm. I think there's a whole lot mm. of bluffing going on, mm. you know. Mm. And I want to be strong in the Lord and mm -hmm. the power of his might. Mm -hmm. How long will we falter between two opinions mm -hmm. of what Elijah said? Mm -hmm. And Elijah was bold. And right after that great victory, when he killed all them prophets, he wanted to kill himself. That right. devil came after him. Right. Yes, right. I know there right. is a right. blowback right. to the way right. that right. I'm talking. Right. But we've already prayed, God, right. be, our, be our very present help in the time of need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in Matthew chapter 24. And we'll look at verse number 42. Just one verse. Mm -hmm. And it says, Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. Right. But understand this in verse 43. If the owner of the house... See, if we don't take no ownership for the body, that's the house of God. Mm -hmm. The dwelling place of God is within man. Right. And so that's the house of God is his bride. Mm -hmm. And uh, if the owner of the house had not known what time of night that the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would have not let his house, house be broken, broken into. into. Mm -hmm. So this is a command of the Lord. This is the command of our Savior. Mm -hmm. This is the command of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. 
This is the command of our trump card mm -hmm. in a wrong game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you must be ready because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. Who then is faithful and wise servant whom the master has put in charge of the servants in his house to them give them food at proper time. Right. The greatest food that God can give mankind is revelation. Right, right. And we're in need of that. So mystery means anything that is kept secret or remains unexplained or unknown. Any affair, anything or person that present future or quality so obscure as to arise curiosity. Mm -hmm. Man, what's going on? Right, Yesterday, right. I'm on the corner of Lincoln Way at 6 o'clock. The sun is out. Lincoln Way East and Ironwood, mm -hmm. and that's usually a busy intersection. Mm -hmm. There's no traffic right, coming either right, way. Right, right, yeah. I'm yeah. like, man, what's going on? Mm -hmm. I go to the mall. It looks like it's closed. Mm -hmm. I mean, they. I don't know what's going on, mm -hmm. but I know the tactic behind it, and I know the one that's sitting on the throne mm -hmm. is not falling off the throne mm -hmm. because of this, and I know that many, many are going to die from fear, yeah. from the things that they see coming yeah. on this world. Yeah. And so I want to say, and I want to warn openly, those that are in charge of making these decisions, mm -hmm. you sure you're hearing God? Right. Because the Bible said that murderers are not going to go to heaven. Right, right. The murderers. And you murdering people by some of the decisions that mm -hmm. you're making. Mm -hmm. And it ain't, and it's not right. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking about just the president, because mm -hmm. there is a a cabinet, there's a house, there's a senate, there, there, there's a lot, and there's spirits behind them that promote them to be able to get paid and do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And this is the type of thing that I say, Lord, save them. Mm -hmm. Not that they're bad people. Mm -hmm. Maybe they don't follow forgive them, Jesus mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. that they don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And um, mm. arouse curiosity, any truth that is unknowable except by, this is what a mystery is, Divine revelation. Mm. Any truth that is unknown except by divine re revelation. Mm -hmm. An incitement or an a, a, a incident or a scene in connection with the Lord of Christ regarded as of special significance. It's an enigma. These things are closed books and they're done in secret. Mm -hmm. You must prepare for a change in seasons. And now it's not summer, fall, but it's or winter. Or spring, but but uh, uh, um, this is that day. Mm -hmm. That's the season that we're in. It's mm -hmm. not summer, winter, fall, or spring. It's that day. Mm -hmm. It's a different season. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm suggesting that we need not walk in fear. I'm suggesting that we need to pray like never before. We need to go into strict training. We need to fast and pray. And we need to, to, to do it with all of our might. The max pain. The, yeah. the, the Max Payne. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Let me read a few things. Uh, the culture is more concerned what will take you to the grave that will send you to hell. Mm. That's just not healthy. Mm. And behind every travail of, a, of every affliction is a blessing waiting to be born. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. So the day we're living in that day. Do you agree with the things that I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, but greater than um, just being that day is being the day, the day of the Lord. And Amen. people think, well, it's semantics. Um, could be if that's how you want to look at it. Uh, but when you're looking at it from the perspective of who does everything truly belong to and who are we genuinely responsible to, Bottom it's line. the Lord. Bottom, it's, it's, it's the bottom, bottom line, line. day. Right. Here you go. Absolutely, yeah. man of God. It's a bottom line day, and the the bottom line of the day is that man, I belong to God. Really, sinner or saint, I belong to God because Amen. He gave me life. You Amen. know what I'm saying to Amen. you? Um, I belong to Him, and everything about me is to be directed. By his desire, he lets me get in on it, and he has great things that he wants me to experience. But my first consultation should not be my, with myself. My first consultation, the moment that I get enough sense, is to be with, man, you know what, there's a, there's a 
there's a creator. There's somebody. That, and God puts that in all of us. I remember, and, and I don't want to go off, but I remember 10 years old, uh, growing up in South Bend, and there used to be a doctor on the, off, off of the corner of Washington and Walnut, Walnut and Western and Walnut named Dr. Butts. And I used to walk from the projects on the corner of Western and Laurel Court and walk to the Viaduct and turn right and head north on Walnut. And then I'd get two, you know, two, three, four streets over and it'd be in Dr. Butts. I remember when I was walking, 10 years old, got to the corner of Western and Walnut, turned right, came out from under the Viaduct walking up the street. I heard the Spirit of God speak to me and call my name. Mm. Now, my mother hadn't told me at that time about God speaking or anything like that, but I heard God whisper my name, Jeff, t -t -t Jeff, Jeff, as a young kid, born in the projects, with all of the what someone would call um, uh, disadvantages, right, you know what I'm right, saying to right, you, right. but still was able to hear God. And from the moment that I heard God call my name, I didn't know it was God, but I know it was a voice that I'd never heard before. And I know it was experience that nobody around me had ever communicated with me that they had had it, but it marked my life. And even as I grew older into adulthood, earlier uh, adulthood and, and uh, late teenage life, Man, I recognize that there was someone out there who was really, uh, he wasn't the enemy of the state, but he was watching everything that I was doing and then listening to everything that I was doing, you know? Is beyond. It's beyond, absolutely. So uh, to be able to recognize that I belong to him and my life is hidden in him, and every mandate and every assignment is because of him. Man, when we live our life up under that umbrella, that auspices, then now, man, I can be all that God has for me to be. And I can handle everything that God distributes my way to cause transformation and change in. I don't want to go too much further than that. And I want you to go on beyond that. But I want to stop right there to say that. You cannot evaluate how you're doing mm -hmm. without looking in his face because we're the mirror express image yes, of God. Yes, sir. Go ahead on. Yes, sir. So first epistle of, of uh, John tells us, says that we have an anointing Amen. that abides in Amen. us. Amen. He, he's in us. Right. So we're talking about all the things that has to be done. We're talking about viruses and all the things that the enemy has tried to uh, 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 place in our life in a heavy way. Let me that, stop right there and just say this, man. We are not alive because our heart is being... We're alive because our spirit is in us. Absolutely. Even if your spirit is not alive under God by being born again. You are a spiritual you, being. It, it, yeah. it, it's not a heart attack. Right. Your spirit left. And yeah. that's why. Because your spirit gives your heart yeah. the ability to, to be. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, yeah. Absolutely. So this this anointing, you, you started out earlier right. in, on the podcast uh, about the, the glory, the ark of God, the right. presence of God. So we have this presence of God that is on the inside of us as believers we recognize it as believers we ought to say yes to the fullness of it and as believers when we say yes to the fullness of it there's not going to be any fear why because we recognize like the apostle Paul and I think we may have mentioned it uh, last time we hung out where he was on the island of Miletus I believe it was and he was gathering sticks for a fire Amen. and he wrenched his hand in some sticks and uh, uh, to put sticks in the fire and a viper jumped out and attached itself to him and Paul simply shook it off and all those who were the inhabitants of the island looked at him and like man something wrong with him and started calling him God but it wasn't nothing wrong with him it was everything that was right with the transformed man he recognized that the fire of God was on the inside of him and nothing that the viper and the enemy could do could infect him. We got too many infected Christians by the wrong thing because they have not embraced the fire and the abiding presence of the Holy Ghost that is on the inside of them now. 
not when they get to heaven. We don't need the anointing when we get to heaven. Amen. We need the anointing in the earth to dominate Amen. and to demonstrate and to establish the rule and the reign of God's kingdom while we in the earth, and man. Where did you say the snake jumped on it? Jump, jump to, the fire. Hey, come on, the sir. Fire. When it was and the hottest. And for the fire, yep. but the fire brings the snakes out. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. And that's the only time that you know whether you got the goods or not yep. is that when you put your hand in the fire and you can shake that snake off. Yep. That will give you confidence that nothing, that reading about it will not give you the confidence that doing it will. Yeah, and so that's why in this time that we're living in right now where coronavirus and every other virus that has come before it, every predecessor has come before it, one of the things that I've, I've duly noted uh, in listening to men and women of God who are really, they ain't playing. They, this is not a facade. This is not entertainment. Uh, this is not Sunday, Halloween day. Uh, this living for Christ is real to them. It's their very being. Paul says in him we live, in him we move, in him we have our being. One of the things that I've duly noted was that every apostle, every prophet, every pastor, every evangelist, every teacher that is genuinely in love with this Jesus and recognizes that the Christ of God on the inside, they are so irritated yes. at the weakness, Amen. Amen. at the weakness suffer. and the compromise. And you will suffer in Christ. Uh, oh my you God. Oh my goodness. But it has not muted their mouths. They are speaking more loudly, more sternly, with more uh, clarity, weight and accuracy. clarity, accuracy, uh, with such a move forth uh, mindset that it ain't even funny. Why? Because the, the enemy has revealed the weakness of the church, and he's laughing. And God says, I'm going to let the weakness be exposed so that my people can now begin to get charged up and embrace fully who it is. And I ask exactly what, what it is. is exactly, I exactly. Book, man, I just bought on prayer from Jonathan Edwards, written in 1740, and the name of it is Hypocrites Deficient yeah. in the Duties of Prayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 you know, when we come out, oh man, do we run after Jesus the way we run before we got saved? Right, right, right. And that's the thing that I got a problem with. I mm -hmm. thought that athletes, when they got saved, mm -hmm. that if your eye be single, your whole body's full of light. Mm -hmm. So you can stay, you can get to practice early, mm -hmm. run. You can train, mm -hmm. you can stay after practice, mm -hmm. work out, you can go to the weight room, mm -hmm. you could get you could clean your diet up, man. Mm -hmm. You can go vegan. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But then you get to say, man, you sit somewhere oh, like on, a sir. bump on the log on, and you're in the way, obstructing rather than be in the way working. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's wrong. Mm -hmm. We got the same way. And you know what? Maybe it's the money that calmed them down, mm. you know? So when you say you came from the projects and mm -hmm. you came from, quote, unquote, disadvantage, mm -hmm. well, who need to rule over that than someone that came from there? Mm -hmm. They can feel the empathy. Mm -hmm. They know the struggles. Mm -hmm. And you go from, a, like Joseph, a pit to the palace yeah. in one hour. Yes, sir. It may take 13 years yes, for that sir. one hour to yes, take sir. place, yes. but now you're a king yeah. over them, and you give them representation mm -hmm. for justice. You give them representation mm -hmm. of equity. Equity in the spirit is mm -hmm. hope. Mm -hmm. And you know what is rightfully, you said equity in the spirit is hope. You know what rightfully belongs to them. You know because you came from those places that people said they weren't supposed to be in. You came from those places and you can give them vision for belonging. Uh, and not just belonging your in wish somebody list, else's. Your wish list becomes their reality Absolutely. wish because you Absolutely. know how to go get it Absolutely. Them. And you keep That's the power of walking with God. And you Representation. Keep, you keep reminding them. Keep on coming forward. Don't delay. Don't change your mind. Don't look at yourself wrong. No. You, you, you've got a smell of it uh, from someone who's gone the way. But you know what is some for you also and don't just think about you bring somebody else somebody else you associated with somebody else that you know somebody else that knows somebody else that knows so we can bring the whole of humanity forward in God I would say about Max Payne mm -hmm. Jesus mm -hmm. his manifestation was so great mm -hmm. that his evangelism had two words mm -hmm. follow me yep Follow me. Yep, yep. That's all he had to say. Yep. Let me also say, without fasting and prayer, you're going to suffer from the hands of manipulation, mm -hmm. intimidation, and eventually domination. Mm -hmm. Do domination. Mm -hmm. Domination. And we are at that right now. 
that whatever the news say, I remember when I first got saved, remember God break, uh, uh, God news behind the news? Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, there's a, yeah. Voice, there's a voice behind mm -hmm. what they're saying, mm -hmm. and there is a voice behind what I'm saying. Mm hmm and that voice is on the inside of me. Mm -hmm. And God loves. He came to seek and save mm -hmm. that which is lost. Mm -hmm. It's not his desire that any will perish, mm -hmm. but all come to repentance and have eternal life. But as the increase of storms come, mm -hmm. racial storms, mm -hmm. economic storms, mm -hmm. military storms, mm -hmm. uh, potential star storms. Storms of identity. It, it, I'm sorry. Storms of identity. Storm. Oh man. Yeah. 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 yeah that's a real storm yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we, 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 we're going to need more power. Mm -hmm. Can we take our praise team to Florida when the hurricane's coming mm -hmm. with a 150 mile F4 mm -hmm. and repent mm -hmm. and tell ecology because mm -hmm. the whole creation is groaning, waiting for. The worship team, the sons of God, mm -hmm. to manifest. Mm -hmm. And can we sing a lullaby to it? Mm -hmm. Can we first of all repent for not being in order and being in charge mm -hmm. and giving the world its definition mm -hmm. and waiting for the government to do it? Mm -hmm. I'm not hating on the government. Mm -hmm. I'm saying the church is out of order. Mm -hmm. Please hear me. Mm -hmm. The house of God, the judgment begins in the house of God. The church has been out of order, waiting for everybody else to give its definition. I can go here. I can't do that. They said I can't do this. They said I can't do that. Okay, so we can go there, we can sing a lullaby, we can tell the ocean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I haven't told you that I love you today. I'm sorry I haven't told you. You don't have to be angry. You don't have to swell up on us like that. And then worship God, and that thing will begin to subside. Mm -hmm. That's the power. I've got a vision for the power of the ages to come. And then be able to send the word. Huh? The, uh, was it the, uh, 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 the centurion? Mm -hmm. He said, all oh. you got to do is send your word. Mm -hmm. Oh, you ain't got to go yourself. Mm -hmm. Just send your word. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to get to the power of the ages to come where we can send our word somewhere mm -hmm. and to heal it, to send our word at it, it, night. Just South Bend uh, the other day, a girl got shot by accident. You mm -hmm. know, send our word at mm -hmm. nighttime. Calm down. Go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Be healed. Mm -hmm. Wake up. Mm -hmm. Provision. We must be able to communicate because God put the life and death. He put our check in our mouth. Mm -hmm. I've got a book called mm -hmm. I.E.W. Kenyon. Mm -hmm. It's a miracle in mm -hmm. your mouth. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Go mm -hmm. ahead, Apostle. So you brought up something that was so huge, and uh, you just flew right into it. You right. flowed right into right. it. Uh, but I want to mark it, you know. Okay. Um, you were talking about uh, creating a brand new system of meteorology. To where you're talking about taking a song, uh, you voice a particular a team, a praise team, but I believe since praise is in us, if if God built praise on the inside of Lucifer before he became Satan, and praise is on the inside of us, so now you're talking about a new system of meteorology to where we can go and we can sing to uh, systems and climates and atmospheres. So we can sing to a sick tree. Oh, come on, come on, sir. Now, is that too far fetched? It ain't too far fetched. But let me say the power of music, what the Lord has showed me. Mm -hmm. In long fasting and prayer, and minor sounds on the keyboard. Uh huh. No click. Mm -hmm. No singer. Mm hmm. And just hour after hour in mm -hmm. prayer. Mm hmm. That Satan was so close to God that the light that shined from God onto Satan. Mm hmm. Satan stole that light. Mm -hmm. He said he won't share glory with another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Satan was given the power mm -hmm. to be close enough to God mm -hmm. to interpret God's mind mm -hmm. and God's temperament. Mm -hmm. And he breathed and music came out mm -hmm. and it influenced all of the heaven mm -hmm. on the temperament of the moment. Mm -hmm. Now I'm talking about a whole lot. Of, there's a lot of power and authority given to that. Mm -hmm. And God, when he built us, we're made in his image, mm -hmm. so we have the same come thing. On, sir. Come and on, sir. Come on. And we're still in kindergarten. Come on. Come on. I'm talking about me. I'm come still on. in kindergarten. Come on. I'm still come in on. first come grade. On. Come on. Come on. I, even though I understand mm -hmm. these things and can articulate mm -hmm. them, Lord, help mm -hmm. me to become a disciple mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where I move out in mm -hmm. the power of the ages mm -hmm. to come. Mm -hmm. We need that, Lord, because I don't, I don't want to see any of my family. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see any of my friends, mm -hmm. anybody I know. Mm -hmm. God, 
I don't have an enemy but the mm-hmm, devil. Mm-hmm, I don't want to see mm-hmm, anybody mm-hmm. miss that time of visitation. Mm-hmm. And it goes back to where you begin the broadcast, the podcast, excuse me, to where how much am I being going to be willing to uh, empty out myself, getting myself out of the way and allowing him to take space. Uh, you know, how much of myself am I willing to surrender? Uh, the potentiality of all of that is on the inside of us. And God is not going to take it back. He's not going to uh, repossess it at all. Uh, he He's going to watch and observe and see what we're doing with that which he gave us. And a wise man and a wise woman and a wise person, the moment that they just get just any type of inkling and glimpse of it will be like, you know what? Uh, What do I need to do to reorder my life, slim my life down, kill my life so that I can get all of the life of God the in me, pain. the max pain. Sir. And, 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 you know, I, I would say that for our president, mm-hmm. his cabinet, mm-hmm. the House, mm-hmm. the state mm-hmm. leadership, and the local leadership, mm-hmm. this is the most difficult time mm-hmm. to be a leader than ever. Yes, sir. My heart goes out to you. Yep. Many nights, uh, sleepless nights, yep. and fasting and prayer yep. and crying yep. because I love them too. Mm-hmm. But... They need to be able to see that light mm-hmm. that that's not a false light, mm-hmm. and it, it deals in. And he'll reveal that light mm-hmm. to those that are humble. Mm-hmm. He'll reveal that light to those that are circumspect. Mm-hmm. That will, as much lies within them, be in obedience to what the word says. Mm-hmm. You know about our sexual practice, mm-hmm. about our dealing with orphans and widows and those that are less fortunate or disadvantaged, mm-hmm. you know, those people are um, very precious to the heart of God. Mm-hmm. And they, uh, and, and what you were saying, uh, what God did with Adam, he stood back. Mm-hmm. He didn't interrupt Adam. Mm-hmm. He, he, he told Adam, go, I mm-hmm. gave you a grace. I gave you wisdom and I made you in my image. Mm-hmm. And he stood back and whatever Adam said, mm-hmm. God said it was the same thing. Mm-hmm. And that, Ability, Mm -hmm. he never retracted from us. Mm -hmm. There was a time of dispensational darkness because uh, the veil at the temple was not torn. Mm -hmm. But once it had been torn, we can go behind it. Mm -hmm. And I would say this as we close. The outer court has a lot of things that are permitted. Mm -hmm. The inner court is where you begin to find out the sobriety that it takes to really walk with God. Mm-hmm. But when you go into the Holy of Holies, mm-hmm. you really see that for real, mm-hmm. he ain't playing. Yeah. And yeah. in our light today. Yeah. So, Father, we bless your name. Yes, I we bless do, the man of God. I bless yes, Apostle we do, Jeff Father. Wilson. Mm-hmm. I bless Heroes Count. Yes, Lord. And Apostle PJ. Yes, Father. Uh, 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 Perry. Thank you, Father. And Prophetess Kelly Perry. Yes, God. Father, all the children that mm-hmm. come up here, all the kings Everyone. and priests Everyone. that are in Heroes Count, Everyone. God, they're not hood rats. Yes, Father. They're not just athletes, yes, God. Father. They're not just orphans, mm-hmm. Lord God. They are your children mm-hmm. and that you love them, mm-hmm. God, with mm-hmm. the plurality of yes, heaven, Lord. Lord God. Yes, Lord. That you have a, a, a task, mm-hmm. an assignment, a mm-hmm. calling, mm-hmm. a salvation angels for each one, Mm -hmm. prosperity Mm -hmm. for each one. Mm -hmm. And I pray that it come to their parents. Mm -hmm. I pray that it will come to them. I pray Mm -hmm. every generational curse is broken, that fear is broken, that drug addiction Mm -hmm. is broken, that theft is broken. Yes, Father. uh, All all different, that Mm -hmm. that all all, all headiness and Mm high-minded, whatever the case may be, Mm -hmm. that your name would be lifted up, God. It ain't about me. Mm -hmm. It ain't about this podcast. It ain't about Heroes Camp Ministry. It's about the Lord Jesus Christ. High and lifted Lift it up, mm-hmm. God. You're the only one, God. Mm-hmm. You're the only one, mm-hmm. Jesus. And mm-hmm. you sit at the right hand of the Father, mm-hmm. and you make intercession. Yes, Father. Life forevermore. Yes, God. Apostle, anything else? Just want to say, just thank you again for uh, just let me come in, just share, and um, uh, we pray the uh, uh, no cap living and experience for every child and every person that runs through these doors, that touches this building, uh, that gives, that souls, that associates or prays of any type has anything to do with this place. Amen. Well, I love you all. 
I challenge you to be where you ought to be when you ought to be there and be all up in there doing what you ought to be doing. Wake up again, do it tomorrow, and call it a breakthrough. In other words, discipline. I love you. The Lord bless you. Cause the expanse of his mind, revelation, the insight, the eyes of a flame of fire, the voice of men. Let nobody be able to stand before your voice when your voice is heard, when your ears have heard his voice. Live right and live for the king. And he will promote you at the right moment. And in the meantime, keep on worshiping, loving Christ and all the people that you meet in Jesus' name. Thank you.